What's up? Nat here. Coming up on the show. Controversy over Sia's new movie. Perth comes out of lockdown. And the world's tiniest reptile. But before we get started, why don't you go ahead, hit subscribe. Go on. Aussie pop star Sia has apologised to the autistic community over her new film, Music, which has just been nominated for two Golden Globe Awards. The film's main character is autistic, but is played by an actor who's not. And it sparked criticism from some who say Sia should have done more to better represent them. The controversy all started when Sia released the trailer for her first film, Music. A lot of people questioned how the movie dealt with autism and why Sia decided to cast Maddie Ziegler, who starred in a lot of her music videos in the role of an autistic character, when she herself doesn't have autism. Some autistic actors responded that they could have played the part and autistic people need to be better represented in the media. Sia defended the decision, but months later the issue's in the spotlight again, after music received two Golden Globe nominations. Sia's now apologised and says she's been listening to people's frustrations, including adding a warning at the start of the movie about some of the scenes. Very funny, troublemaker. <laughs> she's now deleted her Twitter, but the topic's not going away. Some say movies like music are an opportunity for audience to learn about what life is like for autistic people, but they need to be accurate and inclusive. Xavier here is autistic, and he says that's really important. It's kind of, you always need to do your research before you do your stuff. Maybe just a little bit of training, they could act it out. It doesn't always have to be 100% perfect. Like I said, no movie is 100% perfect. More than two million Western Australians are coming out of lockdown tonight. People have spent five days in lockdown after a hotel quarantine worker tested positive for COVID-19. In that time, no one else has contracted the virus in Western Australia. While that's good news, in some parts there will still be restrictions, including mandatory masks in public places. Kids across Australia are trying out a new type of Lego for the very first time, Braille bricks. They're specially designed for kids who are vision impaired. Check them out. Let's play Lego. <laughs> Yo, you're stop. Yep, it's time to play Braille Lego. Yeah, it was just a regular piece of Lego, but changed to suit me and all the other vision impaired and low vision people for learning and having fun. Braille is a language basically made of lots of dots. These Brisbane students are the first in Australia to take these blocks around the block. Each brick represents a letter, number, punctuation mark or symbol that vision impaired kids can feel with their hands. I need a T, a T, T, T. I don't really like reading brow too much, but the bricks are fun to play with. Teachers reckon they'll help students improve their maths, reading and writing skills. It really helps younger children to learn braille, because who wants to learn braille off paper, or is you learn with Lego? These bricks aren't available to buy, but Lego's teamed up with Vision Australia to hand out a thousand kits to schools around the country. It's pretty cool that you could be doing braille whilst having a lot of fun. And I love it. Wow! Wow! Nature, huh? Doesn't make you just go, wow! Wow! A tiny chameleon! Scientists in Madagascar have just discovered this teeny tiny nano chameleon that can fit on a fingertip. It comes from a part of Madagascar that was under threat from deforestation, but fortunately for these guys, the area was recently placed under protection. It's the tiniest of more than 11,000 known species of chameleon out there, and it might just be the tiniest reptile on Earth. Wow, explosive. People living around Mount Etna in Italy have been keeping their eye on these bursts of spewing molten lava. It looks scary, but luckily this doesn't look like it's gonna be a major eruption and nobody's in serious danger. It's actually pretty common for it to erupt like this several times a year. Zookeepers at the Smithsonian Zoo in the US have tried to make mealtimes a bit more fun, bringing together mini snowmen and some hungry, hungry guinea pigs who don't care much for the elaborate ice sculptures. Nope, they're pretty keen to just get to the bits of food trapped inside. Mmm, delicious veggies. Mmm. Well, that's all from us this week. In the meantime, hit subscribe.
and we'll see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend.